Okay, so where are we, where are we off to today, Dean? So, at the moment we're in Nuneaton. We've got some viewings here today. I think Lindsay and Amelia are already at a couple of viewings, so you and me are going to go and join them. Looking at a few houses, basically. I think we've got five or six viewings today. Different areas, different properties. I think two beds, a few houses, a couple of flats in there. So, go and see, uh, go and see what's about. Do you enjoy this part of the process, Dean? We're looking for properties. You feel with me now? Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. And I was just saying to you in the car, I don't get to do it as often as I used to. Yeah. I quite enjoy just wandering about, basically, <laughs> being nosy <laughs> and kind of getting a feel for what we're doing, really, I suppose. We buy them, of course. So my name goes on the title and, you know, we take on the mortgage lending and stuff. So I can't, you kind of do need to understand, essentially, what you are buying and the communities you're working in. That's probably more important. But I do like this. This is where you make your money, isn't on it? The ground. You do your deals. Yeah. That's good fun. Cool. So just waiting at our next property viewing. Property's close to local shops, which is good, isn't it Dean? Yeah. Yeah, so always look for local amenities. So we're on the outskirts of Nuneaton, we think. Galley Common is the, is the area. We kind of source properties around all the areas of Nuneaton, see if they're appropriate inside. We present them to the, the council and see if I wish to take them off so we can get them under offer then, do the works that we needed and get them to families that need it as quickly as possible. That's pretty much, that's pretty much bang on Joe. That's pretty much bang on. <laughs> So my role so far has been helping Lindsay source properties, arranging viewings for Lindsay to go, no, Arrang is that right? Arranging viewings, that's not right. How'd you say it? <laughs> my role in the Nuneaton project is to source properties off Right Move and Zupa and then arrange property viewings for Lindsay and myself to go along to. Last Thursday we went along to one scene five different properties mm -hmm. and then during the property viewings I fill out viewing sheets just like making little comments about each room and like things that would need to change. I quite enjoy going out because it's obviously being out of the office. Obviously from when I've done it previously I now more know what I need to do. So it's like getting more involved. What's been the biggest challenge so far within, within the project? The biggest challenge I think is one an offer has been agreed and it's the conveyancing and legal side it's getting that pushed through as much as anybody wants a quick sale of a eight week kind of turnaround it doesn't always necessarily happen so that for me just has a backlog in terms of me then being able to get in and get the works done that are necessary for us to then hand over to the um, to the council. It's not finding them, there's plenty to be had. Obviously then there's the negotiation of then getting the right deal of which then fits in with our budget, etc. We identify properties and then we send them to the council for their approval. There's nothing really as an area be being identified as a, a no-go. It would just do it on a property by property basis as to whether they feel it suits their needs as well. We then work with another area of the council, so we work with um, inspectors that then come out and it's identifying areas of safety, so it's just being aware of those. A few I'm already aware of myself anyway from doing previous the previous project with Coventry. It's just been on the lookout for certain items that you know we need to safeguard so at the moment we're looking at a couple of properties that are open plan so it's safeguarding those areas because obviously the kitchen's in the living area so how can we make that area safer for families with young children what's the next steps what's our target right well the target <laughs> obviously we need to hit 20 by the end of april but we had set ourselves a target of trying to get eight by christmas so we've got eight currently on the go in terms of going through the motions of legals etc. Two have already been hand, handed over. It effectively 10 in the pipeline with two already handed over but you know it'd be nice because we sort of said we'd like to hand eight over by Christmas. So we're 25% of the way there. It's just gonna have to be a big push now to try and get the rest of them over the line. 